I am Kidier. Kidier. Hello, welcome. I'm Max. And welcome to you, Max. You wanted to speak to the Argothans. Yes. We are a private people. But we will share some information if it is acceptable. Absolutely. So what dimensionality are you? Are you in the same dimension as us or are you higher dimensional? We are in a higher dimension, but we can come back to third dimension if we wish. Uh-huh. How long can you stay without health effects? Negative health when effects. coming back to a dimension, you can stay as long as you wish. In going forward to a dimension that is higher, you can only stay a limited time yes. because you become less dense. Becoming more dense is not a problem. Becoming less dense, you can disappear. Oh, wow. So you feel all right here or does it feel pretty negative here? In your planet, in some places, your density is fine. But because we keep ourselves away from your karmic thought processes mm -hmm. but, and from your peoples that are very negative. So it can be a very positive experience in your third density. However, I prefer the higher densities. So when you said that you're private people, you mean how much do you commit? So the question is, how much do you communicate and travel outside of the uh, planet? Are we you... do communicate and travel outside the planet, not extensively at this time. Uh -huh. There are missions that must be carried out here on this uh, particular planet to keep your ascension period intact. And we are committed to that. Wow. Because we have promised in the past that when this time comes after the Mayan and the Oriental calendars, that this symbol here will remain as our oath. Thank you. Uh, what's your genetics? Are you related to us? Are you related to Atlanteans? We are related to several species. Mm -hmm. We are considered one of the hybrid species that they speak about. Oh, wow. But we do have some human in us. There was a time when we walked third dimension with you and looked somewhat like you and interacted and mated with humans. Therefore, we do have some human within us. We also have some Pleiadian within us and some you yill within us. Oh, wow is that we are a hybrid species that must maintain a more pure future. All right. Wow. Um, physically, how different are you from humans? We now look different from humans. We're much paler. We do not usually see any sunlight unless we do our rituals outdoors which is once or twice a year but it has become too dangerous to do that recently we are also helping well well look wise we are a little bit pale and we are a little bit more thin than most humans as well but our stance is about the same tallness. We are about the same size, actually, as humans. Perhaps slightly smaller, but not much. An inch or two. And we have larger eyes, but not a great deal larger. We still have a fairly human look in some ways. So you would you could pass as a human on the street? Not anymore. The eyes are too big. I see. But we are very pale as well. 
I see. So the larger eyes and the paleness would give us away. Other than that, our features are similar in many ways. I see. So which human uh, race would be closest to you? Would it be like Scandinavians? One moment. I think that perhaps they could. That could be true. I have not really thought about it or studied it, but they could be. They do have lighter skin and hair. They are in darkness most of the year or much of it. And so that is similar to our atmosphere as well. So in culture wise, which of human cultures would be closest to you? Oh, culturally, we're closest to Oriental cultures. I see. Like Chinese? Chinese and more like those that were around the time of Confucius. I see. Um, if you were to, could you have families with humans and hybridize without technology, just kind of have families? It is possible. We do have enough human DNA within us to uh, procreate. We do physically have the right organs and right physicality to mate with the human population. Would you find uh, some of the humans sexually attractive? I imagine they could possibly be. How about the other way around? Would you be sexually attractive to humans as a, as a race? I imagine th that would be possible as well. I see. So what's your origins? How, what's the story of your origins? We are hybrid species, so our origins go back in many directions. Mm -hmm. But once we have thought about where our major origins were, mm -hmm. it was with those you now call you yill. Oh, wow. And they go back quite a distance. The Yu-Yil actually, and humans, look quite a bit alike also. They look, uh, their heads are much bigger, but, and their eyes are larger also, but feature-wise, they are still very humanoid looking. But the Pleiadians were tall, and we were able to, they are also able to interact physically with humans for mating purposes, depending on the species of Pleiadian. The silver white and the blue Pleiadians most likely could have been part of our ancestry. The green Pleiadians, not as much. Huh. Um, how did you end up in your uh, location within the planet? A thousand fifty years ago, we came. Oh, that recently. We were here before then, of course, but we took up residence that long ago. It's like recent, it's like the time of Christianity and, um, you know. No, that was 2,000 years ago. This was 1,050 years ago. Those things had already been well established. Of course, yeah. I, I just meant Christianity in Russia. Yeah. Ah, yes, in Russia. But uh -huh. we were not, we did not always like the weather of Russia. We like a little bit warmer climate. I see. Uh, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, we had, uh, in Europe, we had uh, Riga's uh, high cathedral was, cathedral was built in the 11th century. So it's exactly the time when you yes. enter the earth. So 
we had pretty established technology and population in Europe was, and um, in the uh, Osman Empire, Turkish Empire was also pretty developed. So it's very recent. So what did you do before that? We were travelers. We were tired of nomadic living. A oh. portion of our population was nomadic. We came from originally Yuyil and had mated with Pleiadian and human and still traveled about. There was other populations that we could have mated with but chose not to because mm -hmm. of thought processes, attitudes, and rituals. So therefore, we were not involved with any other hybridization other than these three. Oh, wow. So that's pretty clean. So um, what are you in Earth or are you in another planet? Are you, are you, uh, uh, we are in Earth and we are in the moon and we are on Mars. Wow. How about Terra Ha? Terra Ha is the next dimension that exists alongside of this one on your planet. All right, so are you living in Terraha or Earth? We live in both. Wow. We move back and forth between Terraha and Earth quite freely. Like you have like portals? Yes. We, we do not go to any higher. So there are those of us that have gone to the fifth dimension and raised up into that height, but they do not want to come back. So right. it is those of us that are in the fourth and third that are here. So is there a special planet in fifth dimension which has a name? No. Okay. Some of our people are still nomadic, but we are established here. This is our home for now. So are you members of Galactic Society and members of yes. different councils? Yes. There are those of us who are members of councils and alliances and other things of this nature. But we do not make that well known. So what's your involvement in uh, our modern uh, recent... Uh, Ascension work uh, is it? Are you working on the ground, like entering, uh, you know, in yes. the act, active, actively inv being involved? The the area that we have secured for ourselves is impenetrable, and cannot be destroyed by any actions that any Earthling or any geothermal activity could create. Okay. So therefore, we are safe in our own space, if you would say that. Mm -hmm. It is well protected. Our mission here is to protect the Earth and to, to aid in the ascension. What we are doing to do so, we are not permitted to reveal. I see. Are you talking to dolphins? Dolphins are allies of ours. How do, what do you feel about them? Can you like share a little more? They are, in my opinion, the, the most unconditionally loving creatures on the planet. Oh, wow. They have the highest ev evolution. Great. Do you feel um, they are same vibration as your race? Vibrations are funny. They are in a good, very incredible vibration, but it is unlike ours in many ways and similar to ours in some ways. So yes and no. When I started speaking about dolphins, there is a bird outside of my window playing. Yes. Birds <laughs> are the messengers these days on your planet. We have realized this for the last four years. <laughs> what's your um, religion? Uh, what's your connection to, to God? And um, is it overlapping in any way with uh, Earth religions? It does overlap in some ways. You, that being that part of us are part of humanity, 
there was part of us that did worship the same as many of you do. But the intergalactic uh, religions or spiritualities, if you will, are different than what you celebrate here. We do not need a shrine or a temple or a cathedral or a church to celebrate our spirituality. We consider ourselves spiritually free from um, an organized thought process because spirit is not an organized thought process. Uh, what are your natural talents? Uh, are you highly telepathic? Yes. Are you capable of um, shape-shifting? No. Mm -hmm. Are you capable of uh, bilocating, being uh, in many in, places at once? We can do that. It is not a common practice. We do transport to different areas of the solar system Mars and the moon and other places where we have our communities on this planet, we do telepathically, uh, we do, what is the word? Transport. Teleport. Our, teleport. Yeah, teleport. We teleport ourselves there, yes. But you do it technologically. Can you do it naturally? We can bilocate naturally, yes. But it is only a temporary function. Uh -huh. Whereas teleportation is permanent, I if see. necessary. So if you meet a predator, can you kind of disappear naturally without technology? We can, but it demands some concentration. And usually in a time of emergency, there is little time to concentrate. Right. So, or we use technology to move ourselves during emergency. How about energy healing? Do you do natural energy healing? Yes, that is part of who we are. <laughs> nice. Um, so your culture is pretty different from Earth's culture because you came recently, right? You are not involved in our ancient history, are you? We, our culture was developed before we settled here. So yes, we were organized and developed before we decided to make colonies here. Mm -hmm. Are there other um, Agarthans or other uh, earth dwellers be, be, except oh, your culture? No, the Draconians have several places under the earth that they dwell, several miles below the surface. Mm -hmm. There are also the golden people of the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. There are also several other smaller species that have some homes in your planet. Now, none of them have ever been discovered, or few, I should say. The one time where one was discovered, much, much problems happened so and a city had to be eliminated because they did not want people to know about them so that was not a pretty picture but there are several species that still live here all right how can we tell you apart is there a special name which would uh, uh well is, is there a special name for your people which except agarthans the White Agarthans is our official name. Oh, great. That's easy. <sighs> How about reptilians? Are you in contact with reptilians on Earth? There are some. We are not unfriendly with the non-humanoid species. We have learned to get along and we've learned their protocols. So therefore, we are not necessarily allies, but we are not unfriendly either. I think I heard before about, I think, a gray species called clares in the bottom of the ocean. I might be mistaken Correct. by the name. Clares are in the Pacific Ocean, north mm -hmm. and east of Japan. 
Mm -hmm. Are you in uh, diplomatic relationships with them? The Clares are a gray reptilian hybrid species. Uh -huh. Being that they are a hybrid species just like we are makes them a little bit more friendly to us. Oh, nice. They understand the ways of hybridization. I am surprised that greys and reptilians were able to mate, but at one period in evolution, there was a time period where they could. I also wonder how did you end up on Earth? Because uh, I guess it was uh, the times when there was no strict control who is settling here. How, who, who, did you get any permission to settle on Earth? Because you're newcomers, who did you, how did you get your permission to settle here? We did not ask permission. There yes, was sir. no true galactic government at that point. The galactic government has been set up within the last 500 years. Oh, wow. I so see. before then, this area was free territory, still being discovered by many from different galactic areas. There were galactic governments, but they weren't in this galaxy, or if they were, they were not officiating over this portion of it. Right. Do you have any questions to me? Is there any way, uh, are you following the human colony? Are you aware of human colony community? We are aware of human colony. Uh-huh. It is an interesting experiment. It's not like no other um, site on the planet. It's a very original idea. Would you like to, to, to join that experiment one way or another? We cannot join it officially, but we are a part of it in our hearts. I see. So if we would like to um, have some of our community, people from our community to visit your place, we would be happy to meet. Yes, it could be possible. <laughs> And we invite you to visit us in every way which is appropriate for you. Every way that is appropriate. That is an interesting statement. I mean, you, you, you're, you tend to be isolated, but if there is a way you could communicate to us, we would welcome that telepathically, physically, astrally, uh, holographically. Uh, everything is welcome. Thank you. We will... I will extend that inf information to our councils and committees. Yeah, invitation, yes. Uh, that's about it, I think. Um, unless you have more questions or topics to discuss. Um, I'm running we out. have done we have extensive study of this planet, so I do not have any questions at this time. Thank you. Uh, are you at liberty to share some of your... Um, prayers or poetry or blessing in your language? Would you like it in our language? Yes, if possible. Or in, in human language? Um, a sample of your language would be great, just for um, feeling the, um, connecting to your culture in a better way. All right. I will give you, I will say hello and wish you a wonderful day and love and light. How's that? Wonderful, thank you. For she got um here and ask Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anything else? Uh, oh, if you can share a piece of poetry, that would be great. There are centuries of poetry. Do you want ancient poetry or modern poetry? Something very popular, modern or ancient, doesn't matter. Ah, oh, popular poetry. That is something different, yes. One moment.
These energies set in the walls, in the places of higher elevations that bring energies to the floor and the ceiling. Those things that are within those centers of gravity must then understand that we are part of the vision and the non-visibility that occurs in this light age. Underneath our thought processes, whelming up in emotional stages, comes the essence of who we are as we connect to the energies that are also connected to solids, liquids, and gases. We bring forth in this evolution of our thought process, the primal existence of fears and lower elements of negativities that must be vanquished and can be vanquished by the elements around us that we give heed to and that we use as washing and cleansing. So now as we are set in the light and formulate a picture of darkness only in the mind and not in a portion of reality that exists in this room, but in a portion of our senses that makes it distinguishable from reality. We distinguish it or extinguish it and make it non-existence within this room that is attached with energy to the walls, ceilings, and floors. Super. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to hear that. Um, is there any a, a prayer which you could share? Yes. Thank you. A prayer is always a very positive thing. Thank you. We ask that you be with us, O great spirit of the universe, spirit of energy that defies all that we know. Cleanse us and make us usable so that we may go out forth and be purposeful, that we may illuminate others in our own thought processes, that we may be spiritual beings of understanding, wisdom, and unconditional love. Hold us, for we cannot hold ourselves in proper balance without the guiding of your spirit. Know us, for we cannot know who we are without the input of God who created our personalities. And feel us. Know that we are emotional beings as well, and that sometimes pain and hurt can overtake that which is logical. We pray and give you thanks and glory and honor in your huge element. Wow, thank you. All right, with that, I will uh, wrap it up because the time I ran over for the session. Thank you very much, and uh, I invite you to come more often. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Oh, hello. Hey, Jim, welcome. How you doing? All right.